Hey everybody, and welcome back for another singular build. And today we are working on this really unique wizard's hut that just looks like something straight from a fairy tale, and I couldn't be more excited to show you. This is a style that I don't typically work in, so I'm really trying to branch off and try new things to really add a variety to the world and the channel as a whole. So with that being said, I hope you really enjoy seeing this as much as I enjoyed building it. Also, the black the block palette is extremely simple in this one. The main blocks are cobblestone, dirty fish scale cobblestone, mossy stone brick, spruce blocks, and the blue roofing. This simple palette really makes the build fit perfectly in an enchanted woodlands area where a solitary wizard could rest in peace and work on his studies of magic. There is so much of a story you could fit into this build, so let me know in the comments or in the discord of some ideas you could think that would fit. And speaking of the discord, if you haven't already, you should definitely check it out and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I'm really pushing to grow past 5,000 subs this year, so let's really try to make that happen. But for now, here's some music, enjoy the sounds of wizardry, and I'll meet you back for the walkthrough. All right, everybody. So here we are for the walkthrough of the wizard's house. Um, I hope you really enjoyed that time lapse. It took a lot of work to get this building, uh, you know, working and looking well, but I think it really came out really awesome in the end. You can see here, it definitely, um, in my opinion, looks pretty cool. We have a nice little chimney, you know, right there. We have the hat up there. Um, and, you know, we just have all of this really cool thing. I definitely modeled it after a wizard's hat um, in the shape. So you could see here um, the little wooden outline is like the brim of it. And that's why I kind of made it uh, not even, you know, kind of adjusted the height and everything a little bit to give it a little bit of wave to it. Uh, it kind of took a little bit of inspiration of like Gandalf's hat <laughs> pretty much. But um, yeah, this is a nice little scene. I really like it. I decided to put it in some woods where you know, it pretty much would be uh, in this instance, but I'll give you the walkthrough. So, of course, you know, this would be like the street or like a little pathway coming through. Right off the bat here, we have a small little chicken coop. 
and uh, on the side I didn't really worry about that but if you walk up I mean this just almost looks like something out of a fantasy book you know I really like the way it came out it, it just looks so 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 cool don't mind the floating bits out there <laughs> that's a world edit issue uh, but anyways I'll lead you here and so we of course we have the garden and no you know wizard or witch or anything like that is good without their garden so this has plenty of different types of plants and herbs and things like that that they would use in their everyday recipes and potions um you know sell to the town folk whenever they have ailments or if they're you know fields of crop are dying or something like that just a little bit of something to add some realism to it of course we have plenty of storage barrels all that good stuff but i'm really excited to show you the interior so without further ado let's go right on in and as soon as you walk in let's close this <laughs> you can see here it is just a really cool looking space um it is obviously a circular build but I wanted to try to kind of section it off and make it look really, really cool. So right off the bat, you can see here we actually have a tree. So this house was built along the tree. The tree helps support the roofing just a little bit. Uh, but I've, you know, I've always seen pictures of you know trees inside um, you know magical areas, and I just really like the way that it came out. So we have a small little kitchen area with a cauldron full of water. Uh, that could be used for uh, boiling, you know, ingredients, herbs down, and then taking the water and helping to make potions. We have plenty of ingredients and shelves right there. You can see here we have some shelving here, kind of catty cornered, um, with some potions and some wheat. Of course, bookcases. Any good wizard knows that you have to, you know, study the arts uh, in order to keep, uh, you know, learning more spells and becoming more powerful over time. Over time. Of course we have some log timbers and things like that and here we have actually a brewing stand and I thought it looked really cool under the little balcony area here the second story balcony and you can see here it's it's a very small fit but even from this angle it just looks so so cool here uh, of course we have the fireplace you know with some potions above it on the mantle and another bookcase um, you know and things like that and once again like I, like I said it just it really comes together. I really like the way it came out. Um, it is very condensed, but it you know comes across really nice. And we have, of course, barrels, fish, coal over there. Just kind of miscellaneous uh, ingredients that they would need. Like that uh, is lapis lazuli, but you know it can be anything you want it to be in this lore. But and then we also have some herbs and stuff like that hanging right here. So yeah, it definitely comes across really cool. So we're gonna go up to the second story here and of course we have an enchantment book obviously for casting spells and whatnot and learning incantations and then of course we have more bookcases right up here and you can see these are branches from the tree branching up and supporting the roof so i really like this area the second story uh it's just really nifty to be able to stand up there and like look down at anyone who's coming in uh, especially if the wizard is real busy and then we're going to go right here into the bedroom so right off the bat, we have a nice queen-size bed, or the Minecraft Minecraft equivalent of a queen-size bed. <laughs> we have a chest, of course, a window overlooking the back, and we have some dressers, some shelving, things like that. I tried to make it not necessarily even and, and precise like I normally do, um, which is, you know, just like the way I, I build things. So I tried to make this, you know, you can see the dressers are uneven and stuff like that. We have like an orb of some kind up here on the shelf. Of course, the mirror, uh, you know, mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is the bedroom. I really like the way it came out. It's just really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the wizard's hut. I mean, it's I, I really tried something different, and I, I'm really proud that I was able to, to get it together and make it look good. Of course, we have some fireflies around the tree that would stay here all throughout the night and live in here. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this is it. Um, obviously... There's some supports and everything for the second story, the brewing stand, the kitchen, the live tree, all that good stuff. Uh, so what I'll do is I will kind of fly you around and you can see, of course, it's, it's in a very small area. Now the roof was difficult and it would be very difficult to recreate, but just do whatever works for you and make it happen. If you decide to build this and it'll still look really awesome. Uh, but of course that is that. So yeah, I hope I hope you like that. Uh, it's pretty cool. 
So anyways, thank you so much for tuning in for the video. All of you are amazing. I really hope you enjoyed this really unique Wizards uh, hat house build. <laughs> um, tune in for more. We're going to have another survival series episode coming out this Friday. Another El Morin project coming out the following Monday. And probably another singular build on Wednesday. I'm going to try to up the videos to three times a week. It might bump down to two if things get a little busy, but um, either way, uh, that's the goal. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, want to see more, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see, and uh, you know I'll try to make it happen. So once again, this is the Legendary Report signing off. I hope you have a good day, and happy gaming.